Hey yo. Deb's life. My name. You know, Debs is cool. Upset. <laughs> um. Uh, anyways, m m m moving on, moving on. Um. Uh, uh, hey guys, welcome to Debs Life. So, have you ever wondered what actually happens when an unstoppable force meets? An immovable object? Well, spoiler alert, studies from Area 51 suggest that the immovable object always wins. And here's why. Solene beef patty. Hmm. Lean beef patty. Where do I even start with this individual? Where do I even start? No, seriously, I'm confused. How am I supposed to even start off this video? Um, you know what? Let's start this video by addressing how you started this video. That's right, by clicking on the title and thumbnail. <laughs> you see, I'm always two steps ahead of you fellow homo sapiens. I intentionally crafted this deceptive title and thumbnail to make you think I sim for lean beef patty. But guess what, buddy? I am no ordinary homo sapien. I am a part of the evolved homo nova species. And more importantly, I am a true sigma male. And a true sigma male never, ever, Ever sims for women. A true sigma male never respects women, even if it's a flawlessly ravishing, glamorous goddess like the beef patty. <clears throat> yeah, I do not sim for her. I do not sim for her, and to prove you that I am not a simp, I am going to roast her. That's right, I'm going to roast her to seem less like a simp and to gain watch time. So prepare yourself, Patty. This is going to be 10 times more brutal than your most brutal and painful exercise move. Welcome to the Lean Beef Patty Roast. Man! I don't want to be roasted. Aww, too bad you'll burn some extra calories tonight. So prepare to be served. Medium rare. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. I just copped a fitty went and put it on my watch. Yeah, I could drop a milli, go and pop it on a stock, but I'd rather be a dick, throw it up and make them watch. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Moving through your city with my coffee and a glock, bitch. Ask me, are you kidding? What the fuck? I pulled up with the dude, took a little out of the time. <laughs> Patty, so I've noticed that you like to perform the request that your viewers comment. So you know what here, take 25 bucks from me and please perform the request to buy a new smartphone case and then buy a soundboard for your fart sound effect obsession no. and then delete your TikTok account. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding my queen because TikTok is already banned here in India and after looking at that username. I'm pretty sure it wasn't due to China. Get it? Banned in India because your beef. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I mean, come on, it just makes absolute sense, okay? No wonder why Greg Heffily was scared of a girl named Patty, because wherever the Patty from our multiverse goes, something or the other disappears. First TikTok, then Instagram. Then Gorilla Mind stalks and now my brain says. Oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
my my bad my bad um in all honesty though you are a very hard working and multi talented individual i only have one question though when will you stop posing like jojo <laughs> patty don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you should be put behind bars or anything like that for being this criminally flawless but how do you explain this what did that poor beanie do to deserve that level of torture ah <sighs> you know what after watching this i am afraid to own one of these beanies i'm sorry little one <clears throat> so uh, patty patty lean beef patty what kind of name even is that let me suggest a better name how about hmm lean beef zero because the amount of cringe in your tiktoks is exactly the same amount of calories i should be consuming in a day that's right zero speaking of zero we all know that newton discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head maybe your tiktok fell on aryabhat's head when he discovered the concept of zero oh my oh my oh my goodness just shut the hell up you piece of cringe you are so jobless oh yeah how am i the one who's jobless when she is the one who's making tiktoks yeah and that's because it's her job you dumb bitch that's how she earns money wait so you mean like this actual mama money involved in it yes Want to listen to some tunes? Oh, oh, uh, hey, hey, yo! Oh, didn't see you there. Uh, it's your one and only fitness icon, fat vegan one, coming at you live with the power of the internet. And in today's video, I'll show you how you can reduce body weight with. Patio. But before that, I only want to see one thing, and that is, I wouldn't dress like Patty even if I was paid a million dollars. <laughs> What? What are you laughing at? Ouch! You seriously think you can get away? You're clearly using your magical Noah powers to summon everything from squirrels to rats to dogs to hippos. And if I don't stop you now, soon you will summon all of humanity. You're already 50% there because you have summoned all men. The only reason people watch you is because you are a spectacularly glamorous female, and I will not allow this to happen. I, I, I. Why? What is it? Have a look. All right, that's it. I'm done pretending. I am done with this crap. I am indeed a simp. Well, um this is it. Um how do I say this? Uh I am a simp. I know, I know. It's a bit difficult to digest this bill because my viewers have always put faith in me for being the hardcore sigma male character. But the truth is, I'm sorry, guys. I believe in lean beef party supremacy, okay? And I just don't get it. How is it okay for you to publicly simp for BTS members, but it's not okay for me to admire the glory of lean beef party? Where's the equality here, precisely? I know I'm sounding a lot like a Jordan Peterson wannabe right now, but I don't care because just like the Riddler, I have been leaving a breadcrumb trail of fins from a long time. which all leads up to this exact moment right here where i am going to come out and publicly admit that i am hands down the biggest fan of lean beef patty and i unironically genuinely look up to her but i mean 
Wasn't all of this a bit too obvious already? Why else would I go through so much hassle to make this video special? The rant portion was clearly just a long joke and in reality I wholeheartedly admire Patty. <laughs> you didn't actually think I was going to roast her, right? Right? Stop roasting me? No, because low-key, I don't think I can handle being roasted in this moment. Like a legitimate roast? Um, no. I'm sorry. I just don't think my shrimpy heart can take it in this moment. I also never really understood Rose. That's like really some masochistic stuff. Not to be a sore sport. <laughs> Me roast you, an Indian slaughtering b -b beef. Oh my, I would never do that. I will never be able to do that because in all honesty, bro, she's perfect. And I say that even though she's from a platform I wholeheartedly, fanatically hate. TikTok. No, no, no. Let me say that again. TikTok. Me appreciating someone from TikTok. What can I say? These are confusing times. I mean, hating TikTok used to be my online personality. People literally know me as that fat Indian kid who obsessively loves PewDiePie and hates TikTok and yet here we are. So what happened? How did I go from that depressed, lonely, impossible to impress gigachad to this also depressed, lonely but distinguished gentleman who is awestruck by lean beef patty? Well, honestly, I don't have the answer. Maybe some time traveler moved a chair or something. I don't know. But the point is, there's just something special about lean beef patty that I can't quite explain. There's just something particularly peculiar about her personality that incentivizes the dynamism out of me. I mean, just look at her, bro. She is the single glamorous embodiment of dedication and she sets a great example for aspiring teenagers like me that hard work pays off. In fact, I would like to quite literally bow down to this distinguished madam because she taught me the importance of self-love even though I still quite clearly suck at it. And more importantly, she taught me that there are phenomenal creators on TikTok and Instagram too who use the platform to help others and that not all creators are like this. And also, come on, just tell me right now that's not the most cute laugh you've ever heard. <laughs> hmm, guess who else has similar cute laughs? <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. Because get this, she's also a fellow gamer and a fellow creator. I wonder who else is a fellow gamer and creator? She's also into DIY and has done everything from DIY tattoos to DIY dumbbells to DIY Halloween costumes. I wonder who else is into DIY? Roll the montage.
yeah, that was my way of paying an homage to Miss Patricia, aka Lean Beef Patty, aka Pinhead Patty, aka probably my biggest female inspiration at the moment. Um, I think the end result is kind of meh. It's obviously not as good as her original face, but then again, nothing can even come close to her original face because nothing can surpass this universe's singularity's embodiment of perfection, aka that face. And no, I'm not saying that to sound cheesy or anything like that. I genuinely mean it. It's just that I'm a bit poetic by nature because I actually freaking belong from the land of the greatest Asian poet. Either way, if you're new to my channel, you might be wondering why is this guy pouring in all of his soul and sanity into one single video for Lean Beef Patty that, let's face it, might not even budge? Well, to quote Spider-Man, that's what we do. I might be a small creator, but thanks to my inspirations, I like to keep big ambitions by challenging myself in my creative field, which is primarily the reason why I did this risky little roast segment so that there's an element of humor and a storytelling narrative associated with this video. Basically, I didn't feel like putting out something bland that wouldn't make you laugh because at the end of the day, creating is my priority. And also, I just love giving back to people, okay? Even this studio right here, in a lot of ways, is a tribute to the creators that shaped my personality growing up. I have paid tributes to other creators in the past as well, so it would only be fair that I would pay a tribute to Lean Beef Patty as well because she is currently my favorite female personality in the world. And there is a quite um, insightful reason why that is the case. See. As much as I hate getting deep in stuff, I think I should share this so that Patty knows how much she really means to me. You see, in late 2020, I had to experience a tragedy. Um, I don't want to get into the details, but basically, I was just kind of lost after 2020. I have always been a quite self-deprecating kid with a deficit mental health and 2020 just made that worse. I mean, even when my childhood dream, the studio was being built in front of my very eyes, I wouldn't be mentally present because I was just that shattered and demotivated. In fact, my mental health took such a downward spiral that I even accidentally injured my spine. Thankfully though, slowly but surely, I recovered. And I would say alongside some other creators, Lean Beef Patty played a significant role in persuading me and I will always be thankful for that. The fact that she was not only able to motivate me, interact with me, but actually get me interested into fitness during such a rough time shows how much impact she can truly have and I have nothing but the utmost awe and respect for her dynamism. Some call it love, some call it admiration, but I like to call it my redemption. Either way, right now my only wish is that she just gets to see this. I just hope this video reaches her in some way, shape or form so that she realizes her own true self-worth and so that she realizes how much she means to us, the fans. So please share it with her in any way you possibly can. It would literally mean the absolute world to me because this is actually the first time I'm quite nervous while filming a video. Back then, I was a kid. I would film with not much thinking involved. And nowadays, my videos are so well planned and structured that I almost expect the outcomes. But that's the thing. This time, in complete honesty, I don't know what to expect. I am not exaggerating. Every single day I wrote this video, I kept asking myself questions like, what if she doesn't like it? Will she even remotely enjoy what I did? Do my honest feelings towards her come off as over the top? Will she even laugh at my lame jokes or will she just get frazzled by them? Will she burst with joy or will she think I am a soy boy? I mean, what if she ends up blocking me? Or maybe not, maybe I'm just being a bit too pessimistic and she might actually end up subscribing to the channel and joining the Debs Hippo tribe to become a hip pro. Either way, whatever the case may be, one thing is for certain. If she does end up acknowledging my existence in any way by following me or by even commenting on this video, then I will be... I will be just changed because she means the entire world to me. If Steve Jobs helped me to get motivated intellectually, she helped me with discipline. So trust me, it would mean the absolute world to me if she would just get to know my reverent efforts. In fact, you know what? I promise you, 
that if she ends up recognizing me by following me or by commenting on this video or whatever then i will end up joining the gym no matter what because right now i'm just hoping to start taking care of my mental health as well as my physique by being more socially and physically active and by overall being more grateful as a human being i mean who knows i might even go from chubby debs to lean beef debs I mean, lean vegan devs, whatever. For now, it's just a dream and I'm not sure if I even have it in me, but thank you for allowing me to chase it, Patty. I really appreciate it and I hope you never change your mature, independent, yet goofy and adorable personality. Either way, that's all for today. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. One sub equals one less calorie in my diet. I am Deb's Life and I'm signing out. Hippo away.